Okay, so welcome back to our second session of today's class, everyone. So on Friday, okay, in the second session, we are going to continue our grammar lesson, all right? So yeah, today, um, we are going to practice more exercises related to, um, you know, pronoun that we learned so far. We have subject pronoun, demonstrative pronoun, possessive adjective, okay? As well as possessive noun, all right? That teacher, okay, explain you a lot so right along the way and today we will practice more exercises on page 10 and 11 okay so if you have your book you can open to page 10 and 11 all together all right everyone see um so last time we finished you know section section b on page 9 and section c on page 10 right so today we will move to um section d and section e all together so in order to understand more regarding our grammar points okay so uh, first of all you can open your book to page 10 and you will see look read and circle section d here so there are six statements that i also okay wrote on the board for all of you and then we after we finish the second move to section e all together which is look choose and write okay so first of all we will start with um you know the first section which is section d look read and circle so for this session you just read the statement okay look at the statement and read and then you circle the correct answer in each statement okay so for example this is and then we have i or my so which one okay book and then we have it and it's so they combine between um, you know possessive adjective and pos okay subject pronoun so you need to choose it and this one um okay sharon takes okay she or her brother to school which one okay and number three we and our teacher is very nice so you need to consider whether you use um sahi pronoun or the uh, you know possessive adjective and you already know that what is subject pronoun what is possessive adjective right for possessive adjective it's always located okay before noun that they refer to okay while subject pronoun we use the one who is performing the action okay so you need to to consider which one that is the correct one and number four do you have you or your book all right so which one number five sam and he or his family all right so which one if they not together and number six six mm -hmm. jenny and sally love okay dumb or their dog everyone so which one so i will love you to work on this part around five minutes and then we will come back and check the answer all together mm -hmm. so now you're ready let's go Okay, thank you everyone. So now let's check the answer of the gada. So number one, what did you choose everyone? Mm -hmm. Possessive adjective or subject pronoun? Yes, very good. So this is my book. Okay, so we use possessive adjective in order to express who owns some things, right? We use my here means that book belongs to me. Okay, so I use my. I cannot say this is my book. It's not correct, okay? So we use uh, my possessive adjective here. How about this one? It's or it is an English book. Very good. We use it, right? We use subject pronoun here, okay? So it is an English book. How about number two, everyone? Sharon takes his or her brother very good so her brother you cannot say she brother so her brother here you see we use possessive adjective in order to show the possession so that okay they refer to her brother her sibling so her brother so how about uh, number three everyone how about number three we or our teacher yes our teacher right is very nice mm -hmm. how about number four do you have your or you book all right Mm, we already got the same so we use okay your right so do you have your book mm -hmm. how about number five sam and he or his family yes excellent his family right so uh trying to use possessive agent to show the possession right so okay his family all right how about number six jenny and sally love very good their dog okay so we have their dog we so called their and you see we use possessive adjective as well in order to show who own that kinds of uh you know things all right yeah so now yeah we got all the correct answer already you can check with yours and 
And after that, let's move on to section A, which is look, choose, and write. You can look at your book altogether, bro. One, they have, uh, you know, they uh, provided you some clues already. So you just look at the picture and then the statement here. So whether you use there, this, and they for number one, and for number two, whether you use they or my mom's or her, right? And number three, you use that, his, or he, okay, to complete an X statement here. And for number four, you use I, my, or this, okay, to complete an X statement as well. So there are four parts. So I would love you to work on this part altogether. Could you see? Page 11, okay, section A. Yeah, so now I would love you to work on this part as well for around four minutes, okay, four minutes. And then we will come back and check the answer. Mm -hmm. So now let's go. Okay, so everyone, for number one, they all they had already provided you the answer, right? They have these are uh, my rabbit. Okay, number two. Okay, another one. Okay, the second sentence, they are ears, right? So number one, uh, for the first one, they put. Okay, these are my. All right, these are and are my rabbit. Okay, so they use um you know these in order to um point out something that is near near the speaker and it's also plural. And we have their right their ear okay their ears are long they, okay they are cute so they use um you know um subject pronoun all right how about number two these are very good so we have they and my mom's and her yes these are my mom's shoe all right so it means on um, that shoe belong to um her mom right so we use my mom with apostrophe and s right and how about the second one? How are they, everyone? We already go. They, they are not my shoe, right? Okay, so we use subject they here, not they are. Sh okay, okay. We not we don't use her and uh, not my shoe, but no. So we use they for number uh, for second one. How about these? The third one, everyone. The third statement in sec uh, in numbers two. Yeah. So the last one is her, right? Her shoe are her shoe are big. Okay, so we use possessive adjective. Okay, so that should belong to her and they are pigs right how about number three um that names all right his name or he names yeah so his name so he has a soccer ball or that has yes of course so he he have a soccer ball and last one yeah that is his ball so we use that here all right, so last one, number one, number four, we have I, my, and this. So my name or this name or I name. Very good. So my name, okay? And how about num uh, the second one in number four? Yeah, so I have a drum, right? So I, okay, I have a drum, okay? And how about number, okay, the third statement of number four? Yes, of course, this is my drum, all right? So these, okay, we use demonstrative um, pronoun here. Yeah, so that's all the one for section A. So teacher, hope you all can get the correct answer. And if you have any problems, you can practice it again and again, all right, in order to uh, get familiar with the um, grammar points. Yeah, so today we practice section D and section A on page 10 and page 11. To do your homework as well, everyone, practice make perfect. And I hope to see you once again on the next week. And please take care of your health, um, wear masks whenever you go out, and wash your hands as much as you can, okay? So bye-bye everyone, please have a nice weekend and thank you for your attention as well. Bye-bye!